Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. What are the uh, biggest similarities and difference between ISKCON and the Hinduism? Oh, biggest similarity and difference. I would say that there is no difference. In fact, whatever Srila Prabhupada, he propagated under the banner of ISKCON is nothing but what every Hindu should be following. And, you know, under the banner of Hinduism. Now, if I would give this example that you ask this question that what is the difference between ISKCON and Hinduism? Of course, similarities, you know, everything is similar. But then the question boils down to, is there any difference? So let's uh, focus on that particular question. What's the difference between ISKCON and the traditional Hinduism which we know of living in India? If I would ask this question, is there a difference between a 50 rupee note and a 500 rupee note? In one sense, yes. But then, 50 rupee note is included in that 500 rupee note. So, the 50 rupee note is not contradicting the 500 rupee note. So, we have to very maturely understand when we even talk of differences, it's not difference in a negative way. It's, the, the, it's not a negative connotation. Just like 50 rupee note doesn't contradict 500 rupee note. In fact, 500 rupee note includes 50 rupee note. So in my experience, before coming to Krishna consciousness, yes, I was, you know, claiming myself to be just a Hindu. But then, whatever I was following, it was being followed uh, not with proper understanding of what is it all about, the rituals, the festivals, you know, everything. But then after coming to Krishna consciousness, it's like from 50 rupee note, I was handed over a 500 rupee note. And then I realized, wow, here, within this 500 rupee note, I also have not just 150, but so many 50 rupees. So, what Srila Prabhupada has given in this International Society for Krishna Consciousness is like that 500 rupee note in which we understand what is real Hinduism. Real Hinduism means it is based on the Hindu scriptures. And Srila Prabhupada gave us Bhagavad Gita as it is. That is like, if I may say, the Bible of we Hindus. So Prabhupada gave that as it is. And not just theory, but Prabhupada gave the practical application of Bhagavad Gita as it is. Not just practical application, but an entire institution, an environment wherein we can come and we can practice real Hinduism, which is Bhagavad Gita as it is. And therefore, in answer to this question, I would say that International Society for Krishna Consciousness is presenting Hinduism in its purest form. Hare Krishna.